morning. I want to welcome everyone to When Warriors Travail this morning. Welcome you to the intercessory prayer line of the One LFA Christian Alliance and Fellowship of Churches. Uh, Watchmen on the wall in the USA. Glory to God. We come together to pray and to intercede for the nations, for our territories. Amen. For the kingdom, for the body of Christ, for families. Amen. Representing, infiltrating, and influencing the seven mountains, the governmental system. Amen. The family system. Glory to God. Media, entertainment, and arts. Education system, come on now, religious system, glory to God, the financial or economic system, we come, or the business sector, we come to infiltrate and to take authority over those kingdoms, amen, and as we are taking authority over those kingdoms and interceding on the behalf, amen, of the kingdom of God, we know and we understand that the blessings of the Lord Amen. Fall upon those that are in obedience and that will do the will of the Father that sent them. And so this morning, amen, I welcome you, welcome you, welcome you. Uh, Our page on Facebook is Watchmen on the Wall in the USA. Amen. You can join our page. We pray every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings at 5 a.m. Pacific Time. 7 a.m. Central Time, 8 a.m. Eastern Time, and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evening at 6 p.m. Pacific Time, 8 p.m. Central Time, and 9 p.m. Eastern Time. We are interceding. We are on the line. Amen. Glory to God. We start out with uh, teaching or empowerment. Uh, And then we go into prayer, glory to God. And so I welcome each and every one of you that are on the teleconference line, that are on the Facebook live. I welcome you into When Warriors Travail. Amen. And so let us pray this morning. Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you because you're holy, you're mighty, you're great, and you're awesome, and there is none like you in all the earth. We give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. We worship and adore you this morning, O God. For, Lord God, you thought it not robbery to breathe on us again in the mighty name of Jesus, to quicken our mortal bodies, to awaken us, O God, in the land of the living, Father. You thought it not robbery, O God, to speak our day into existence and give us purpose and assignments in this day. And, Lord, we say thank you. We thank you for the blood of Jesus. We thank you, O God, for the life that you have given us today. We thank you for the assignment and the purpose. We thank you for our destiny and the plan that you have according to your desires and your thoughts towards us. We thank you, Father, that, Lord God, you are mighty and you are great and you know all things, Father. And, Lord God, we just say thank you this morning. We thank you for salvation through Christ this morning. And, Father God, we ask you now to forgive us of our sins. Forgive us, Father, for not studying as we should. Forgive us for not praying as we should. Forgive us, Father, for the words that we said out of our mouth that did not glorify or exalt your name. Forgive us, O God, for the things we did with our members, Father, that did not lift you up, that was not in your character, God. We ask your forgiveness today. Forgive us, Father, for carrying unforgiveness or bitterness in our hearts towards our brothers. Forgive us, O God, for not, O God, speaking to that man or that woman that boy or that girl that you gave us a word to speak to. Forgive us, O oh God, for our sins, our indiscretions, our transgressions, our proclivities, the bad habits, the things we can't seem to kick, the things, O oh God, that we want to hold on to, the things that you told us to let go of, but we still are carrying it. Father, forgive us today because somebody may need a touch from you. Somebody may need right now, God, Lord God, for us to be in the right place place in the right position, Father, to do your will. So, Lord, we ask you to purge us. We ask you to purge us with his, to cleanse us, oh God, to free us, oh God, to deliver us, oh God.
God, to heal us, oh God, this morning in the name of Jesus. From Lord God, our blood, uh, our sin guiltiness, forgive us, oh God, heal us, deliver us in the mighty name of Jesus. We give it all to you right now. We give it all to you right now, Father, and we ask you to have your way. We ask you to move upon our hearts. We ask you, oh God, to purge us from our iniquities. We ask you to wash us white that we may be as snow, Father, and that we be meek for your use this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, speak to our hearts, oh God. Breathe on us again, Father. Fill our cups this morning that they overflow, that we be more like you, that we love like you, that we walk in forgiveness like you, that, Father God, we release your grace, that, Lord God, we release, oh God, your love, that we walk, oh God, in the uh, similitude of who you are, that our character be shaped, oh God, as you, that, Lord God, we speak like you speak. Father, fill us and empower us by your Holy Spirit, God, that, Lord God, we will cut off everything. Everything that hinders, that sabotages, that holds us hostage, God, forgive us, Father, and give us more of you today in the mighty name of Jesus. And, Lord, we say thank you this morning. We thank you for forgiveness. We thank you, O oh God, for bringing us near unto you. We thank you, O oh God, for filling our cups and letting them overflow. We thank you, O oh God, that, Father, you are faithful and just to forgive us because your word declares if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness, O oh God. Now, Lord, we stand naked before you. We stand, O oh God, in a place, Father, where, Lord God, we intercede on behalf of our brothers and our sisters. We intercede on behalf of the nation. We intercede this morning, oh God, because Lord, you have cleansed us. You have washed us. You have purged us. You have made us whole. You have made us healed. You have made us over, God, in your image and your likeness, Father. And Father, we say thank you. We thank you today, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray and we say amen and amen. Glory to God. I'm going to open the line up now for Evangelist Simpson, amen, to come forth, amen, and just introduce yourself, and then you can go in with your lesson, woman of God, amen, if you are ready. Good morning, Apostle. God bless you all. I'm um, Evangelist Dr. Simpson from Robbins Memorial Church of God in Christ. And I am the founder and CEO of Divinely Favored Ministries. And I had the opportunity of meeting Apostle at a women's um, service um, earlier this year. And she is an anointed vessel, and I am just elated uh, to have uh, made contact with her and establishing sisterhood with her. Um, and I just praise God for what he is yet doing in her life, and the half has not been told. So we are just honored this morning to share the word of God with you for a few moments, and I ask that you will just pray with me this morning that I will go with the leading of the Lord. And I want to discuss this morning um, and talk about strategic spiritual warfare. Yes. And as she was, uh, as Apostle was speaking uh, during the welcome, I, I, I thank God for the confirmation um, as we will continue to intercede after the message for our nation uh, because we are indeed in a spiritual battle. And so this morning I want to uh, share with you uh, three strategies that are necessary to use in spiritual warfare for the mind. Uh, because before we go into spiritual warfare for others, we have to have our own minds intact, and our own minds uh, have to be strong enough uh-huh, to uh, combat the plans of the enemy. In Second Corinthians chapter 10, uh, verses 3 through 5, um, it reads, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for the pulling down, for the demolishing of strongholds, 
casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing every thought, every disobedient thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Father God, we thank you right now for this opportunity to share the word of God on this morning. And Lord, I pray, Lord, that you anoint me as your vessel uh, during these next few minutes. God, reveal your word to us in a powerful way. Empower us, O oh God, in Jesus' name. It is so, and so it is. So the Bible lets us know in Philippians 2 and 5, it says, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. And so uh, we have to gird up the loins of our mind. We have to secure our minds. Uh, We have to be sober, and we have to secure our minds with the word of God. Uh, Before we can go into intense warfare, even before we can go into prayer, we have to gird up our minds. Um, so that we may hear from the Lord, uh, so that we may intercede effectively uh, uh, during spiritual warfare. And there are two kinds of minds. We have a carnal mind and we have a spiritual mind. Romans 8, 6 through 7 says, For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. When we have our minds girded up with the word of God, it it brings life to our spirits and it brings peace to our minds. It goes on to say, because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, nor indeed can be. Our spiritual warfare begins in our mind, 90% of our spiritual warfare takes place uh, or it is fought in our minds. Why? Because the mind is where our thoughts, it's where our intellect, it's where our reasoning, our understanding, and our remembrance takes place. The mind is where Everything starts from beginning to the end. And it is Satan's desire to keep our minds in a carnal state. It is his desire to keep our minds confused and keep our minds overwhelmed and to keep our minds uh thinking worldly and fleshly when we react to the trials of life. Uh, to keep us away from God so that we are not aware of his tactics. When we are overwhelmed in our minds and in our spirits, we cannot focus effectively. Uh, We cannot uh, see the enemy on our trail. We cannot even see him coming when we are totally uh, confused in our mind. So we have to keep our minds loaded up with the word of God, loaded up with the spirit of God so that we can defeat the enemy while he's on our territory. He he has his territory covered, but he comes into our territory. So when someone is coming on your property, uh, if you're in a house and you're at home and, and you're looking out of the window, uh, you you watch carefully to see if someone is coming on to your property. So our spiritual uh, territory uh-huh, in God, we have to be watchful that the enemy, when he is heading toward our territory, that we will be able to fight, fight effectively. Uh, the battle, he battles for our minds because he knows that it is the entrance to the spirit whereby we fellowship with God. So the devil's main goal uh, is once he get into our territory and get in, which is our spiritual mind, he knows that that will disrupt our fellowship with God. And when our fellowship is disrupted with God, we cannot hear clearly from him, nor can we see 
uh, when the enemy is coming our way. He attacks our minds because he knows that it is with our mind that we are supposed to love and serve the Lord. Uh huh. Our mind. We need our mind uh huh to live. We need our minds to effectively do spiritual warfare. I am a firm believer, praise God, that when we have our faith intact and our minds intact, there is nothing that we are not able to conquer. It begins with our minds and it ends with our faith. In other words, what the mind can perceive, the body will perform. Our mind is so connected to the spirit of God. So we have to protect our minds and we have to guard our minds because it is our connectivity to the spirit of God. So three things uh, that I want to uh, share with you this morning, three strategies that we uh, should use on a daily basis in spiritual warfare for our minds. Number one, we need to manage our minds. We need to manage our mind. The mind is vulnerable to attacks by the enemy when it is not being renewed in Christ through the word of God. Uh, when your mind is not continuously trusting God, the enemy will send fiery darts in the form of thought. We enter battle by dealing with our thoughts. Thoughts. Think about it, your thoughts. You enter battle by dealing with your thoughts. And when he brings all kind of crazy thoughts to your mind and all kind of crazy ideas to your mind, he starts a battle right there with your thoughts. That's why we have to be so careful uh, about the, the, the company that we keep because things that they say will result in crazy thoughts if we are not careful. We have to stay away from the negative environment because in Psalms 23 and 7 it tells us, as a man think it in his heart, so is he. So we have to guard our mind. We have to manage our mind. We even have to go to the extreme of being careful of what we watch on TV. Amen. We have to control what we allow in our spirit. And, and, and also we have to control, amen, uh, what we think about ourselves and how Others will perceive us because the enemy will tell you that your sister or your brother do not like you or they are talking about you. And he will put stuff in your mind that does not even exist because he's trying to start a battle. He's trying to start a war in your mind. And when your mind is off track, amen, as I said earlier, you cannot focus and you cannot connect effectively with God. And he will make you feel all kind of ways about yourself. He will make you feel inadequate. He will make you feel incapable. He will make you feel that your labor is in vain. But you have to let the enemy know, amen, that you are going to cast down those imaginations and you're going to demolish it. You're going to demolish every stronghold that he tries to bring against your mind. And we have to understand, especially as women of God, most women are competitive with one another. But we have to learn how to edify and build up one another and not let the enemy make you think that you have to outdo your sister because we are in this thing together. 
Amen. We are in this thing together to war against the enemy. The devil is our enemy. We are not each other's enemy. And what he will make you think, amen, that your sister or your brother, amen, is your enemy, but the devil is a lie. So uh, the most important thing in managing your mind, uh, you should be concerned and I should be concerned uh, in how God feels about me and how God feels about you because that's all that really matters. When you know that you are in the will, the plan, and the order of God, it becomes very difficult for the enemy to infiltrate your mind with all kinds of foolish thoughts. So we need to change the company that we keep. We need to stay away from negative environments. And we have uh, have got to demolish those thoughts when the devil put in our heads that my sister or my brother do not like me or that what I'm doing is not effective because believe it or not, everything that you do, it is touching someone along the way. You may never meet the person. You may never see the person, but you have to know, praise God, that you are making a difference, that you are a change agent in the environment or the ministry that God places you in on a daily basis. Number two, you have to maximize your mind. In 2 Timothy 2 and 15, it tells us uh, uh that we have to study the word of God. Amen. We have to study the word of God. We have to run to the word of God, praise God, because if we don't run to the word of God, the carnal mind, it will take over. That's just uh, 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 nature, human nature by itself. Uh, if we don't fill up our bodies uh-huh, with the things of God and with the word of God, uh, carnality will set in. That is just human nature. What you put in is what's going to come out. Uh, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak it. That's why we have to study to show ourselves, approve uh, Our workmen need to not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Because when we continue to operate with a carnal mind uh, and, and, and begin to operate in the flesh, we easily get burnt out. Have you ever had those days to where you have ran errands all day and and the children are pulling on you, and your husband is pulling on you, and your job is pulling on you, and the ministry is pulling on you, and you haven't had time, uh, let's say in a time span of a day or so, just to get in the Word and just to have some quiet time with the Lord. You're running off of fumes, amen. And when we start to run off of fumes, we begin to slowly start slipping into the flesh then we get burned out, we get attitudes, uh-huh, and, and, and we get short with people, praise God, because we are burned out. Sometimes we get so overwhelmed, we step out of the spiritual realm, and we start doing things in the flesh just to get things done. And that's what the enemy wants us to do. When we start operating in the flesh to get things done just to say that it's done, Amen. Sometimes we're not as effective as we would be if we would just allow the spirit of the Lord to order our footsteps. If we ask God to order our footsteps along the way, he will definitely order our footsteps. But sometimes we take matters in our own hand because we feel like uh, this needs to be done right now instead of waiting on the Lord. And when we do not maximize our mind with the word of God, uh, it's just human. I'm accused of doing it. We take matters in our own hands. So if we don't manage our minds and if we don't maximize our minds by staying in the word of God, instead of allowing the Lord to instruct us in spiritual warfare, we start taking matters into our own hands. And we forget the fact that it is the word of God, which is the sword of our spirit, of the spirit. We can't fight this battle alone, but we need the word of God. And then number three, we have to motivate.
stay our mindset. Excuse me, the Bible lets us know in Philippians uh, 2 and 5, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. We have to motivate our minds. We have to find scriptures according to every situation that we are dealing with uh, to remind ourselves uh, yes, that yes. we need it in the name of Jesus. Uh, we have to speak faith in every dead situation that is at hand. We have to remind ourselves, amen, I don't care if you read the same scripture two, three, four, five, six times a day, you have to remind yourself that you are more than a conqueror and that no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper, praise God. You have to remind yourself, you have to encourage yourself as David did, amen, and you have to realize that they that wait up on the Lord shall renew their strength, praise God, and motivate your mind and, and let the enemy know, amen, that this too shall pass, amen, that God is going to give me the strength to mount up with wings of an eagle. The Lord will give you the strength, amen, to soar above your present situation, amen. And he will give you the strength, amen, and you will yet be standing still, but you will yet be walking in the spirit of your mind, and you will not faint. That's how a lot of people do not understand when they realize that you are under spiritual warfare, they don't see how you or I are yet standing, because we are yet walking, amen, in the flesh, but in the spirit, we are already soaring, because we are standing by faith on the word of God. So we have to prepare our minds to do battle. We have to manage this mind. We have to maximize this mind. And we have to motivate our minds. Manage our minds by, uh, by uh, being conscious of who we talk to. Amen. Being conscious of the company we keep, being careful of what we watch on TV, even down to what you hear, amen, on the radio. Some people, praise God, they can listen to jazz and they like this and they like that. But if the Lord delivered you from that type of music, you have to be careful and not entertain that spirit because it can have your mind going back down memory lane. Amen, somebody. So we have to manage our minds. We have to maximize our minds. Just like we're doing this morning, we have to get up and seek him early and, and get the word of God down on the inside of us because he is preparing us for our day. We have to get up and command our mornings on a daily basis. And lastly, again, you have to motor Motivate your mind. Motivate your mind. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Motivate your mind with the word of God and every promise that he has spoken over your life. So when your mind is managed, when your mind is maximized, and when your mind is motivated, you will be on spiritual alert Praise God around the clock. There may be some times we may slip a minute, but because we have saturated ourselves with the word of God, the Holy Ghost will kick in. Oh, yes, he will. And he will snap us immediately back, amen, into focus in the name of Jesus. So, uh, so, 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 so with that being said, amen, we have to understand that the devil is not omnipresent. That's why he cannot be in more than one place at the same time. So he sends out demonic spirits to carry out his plans. But when our mind is managed, maximized, and motivated, we will be able to pick up in the spirit through the spirit of discernment exactly what he's trying to do. And the Holy Ghost will download uh -huh, the 911 on the enemy. It's an emergency call that will come in through the spirit, and he will let you know, okay, you need to do this, you need to do that, because something is about to happen. And I'm sure we can all attest to that, that we have been in certain situations, and immediately we will change our direction on something. And whoever's with you may say, well, I thought we were going here, or I thought you was going to do that. And you, your response is, you know what, the Holy Ghost told me to change it. Why? Because he downloaded a 911 emergency 
call in your spirit to let you know I need you to change plans because the enemy is trying to come on your territory. So in closing, in Psalms 18 and 39, it says, He has girded me, he has girded you with the strength for battle, and he will subdue those who rise up against you. I'm going to say that again. The Holy Ghost has girded us with strength for the battle. He has already put inside of us everything that we need if we would manage, maximize, and motivate our minds, and he will subdue. Do. He will conquer. He will overpower those who rise up against us. And that's why he reminds us in the word of God that no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. And we can do all things if our mind is intact, praise God, if our minds are managed, if our minds are maximized, and if our minds are motivated, there is nothing that we can't do because you have to see it. Pastor Nancy Lightner. To keep saying it before you see it, and you got to keep seeing what you say until you say, until you see what you say. You have to keep saying what you see until you see what you say. That's what I meant to say. So just be encouraged this morning. Uh, just use those three strategies when we are in spiritual warfare. Use these three strategies on a regular basis every day. Manage your mind, maximize your mind, and motivate your mind. And you will be so encouraged. You will just feel like, you know, God, the sky is the limit. Because he told us in his word that I wish above that you prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prosper. God bless you. That is not the show. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. So, Father, we thank you for the word today. We thank you, Father, for the encouragement, the empowerment. We thank you, Father, for the edification, Father, that has gone forth out of the evangelist's mouth this morning. And, Lord God, we stand in the gap empowered today, Father. We stand and we place on the mercy seat of Jesus. We place the minds of your people on the mercy seat of Jesus this morning, and we cover it in the blood right now. We cover the minds of our governmental officials, the president, oh God. We cover the minds of kings. We cover the minds of queens. We cover the minds of those that are in uh, on councils and on boards and, and even the, the local levels of leadership. We cover the minds of those, Father, this morning that are on in leadership in the body of Christ. We cover the minds this morning that are in leadership on their jobs. We cover the minds this morning of those, Father, that may be dealing with psychological warfare, that may be dealing with depression, that may be dealing Dealing, Lord God, with erroneous thinking or erroneous doctrines or erroneous teaching. We cover the minds today in the blood of Jesus, oh God. And Father, we come against the works of the adversary that will cause their minds, oh God, to be full of confusion, that will cause their minds, oh God, to be full of hatred and their minds to be fo- uh, uh, just focused, oh God. We come against, Father, every weapon and every Uh, every weapon of distraction and every weapon of hindrance and every weapon of sabotage that the enemy will release against your people's minds today and those that are in leadership this morning, Father. We thank you, Father God, that their minds are becoming clear today, that, Lord God, the mind of the people and the hearts of the people, Father, that are connected, oh God, we thank you that in the name of Jesus that every assignment of the enemy is uprooted now. Now, we speak to the mind, we speak to the heart, we speak to the soulish realm, we command the soul, the mind, and the heart to loose the seeds of the devil that have been sold in their life, the seeds of hatred, the seeds of bitterness, the seeds of frustration, the seeds of aggravation, the seeds of depression, the seeds of oppression, the seeds of psychosis, the seeds of mental breakdown. Now, you go tell it. We release the seeds. God, we 
command the sea to be uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus and every assignment of the enemy that is brought against them, Father, in their mind to cause them, O oh God, to not think on the things that are good, that are holy, that are pure, and that are lovely, and that are of a good report, Father. We command those things to go now into the pit of hell where they belong in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father, that every plot, scheme, and plan of the enemy to cause the governmental officials to release, oh God, legislation that, Father, is not beneficial to your people, oh God, but only beneficial to those in high places, Father. We thank you today that, Lord God, the curse of their mind has been reversed. We thank you today, God, that the enemy's plots and his weapons are destroyed. And they will come to nothing, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you that the minds of those, Father, that are thinking negatively about voting, Father God, we thank you, Father, that their minds, oh God, today will begin to become clearer. We thank you for lifting the fog off of their mind. We thank you, oh God, for waking them up from their sleep and their slumber. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, for breaking the stronghold off of their mind. We uproot, oh God, and we burn by fire the weapon of the warfare of the enemy that has come against their mind. We come against the witchcraft spirit, that warlock spirit. We come against word curses today that Lord God has taken control of their mind and we uproot their assignment. We tear it down. We destroy its works in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you today that peace is flooding into our government officials' minds. Peace is flooding into the people's minds, oh God, as it relates to voting. We thank you today that their minds are becoming clear. We thank you that their minds are stable, that their minds are sober today in the mighty name of Jesus. We bind the spirit of Pharmalakia in everything, Father God, that will uh, cause the mind, Father, to be uh, under the under the the influence, oh God, of manipulation and deception. We thank you, God, that every spirit, oh God, that will come in to cause the mind to be asleep, Father, in the name of Jesus, to dull the mind, to dull the senses, God, in the name of Jesus. We come against alcohol. We come against drugs. We come against legal drugs. We come against pharmaceutical drugs. We come against illegal drugs. We come against, Father God, even the things that will cause uh, uh, them to fall asleep or to be in control of every, every mind control drug, every mind control tactic of the devil. We come against it now in the name of Jesus. We come against the psychological warfare and the propaganda that it displays or that it releases against the mind to cause the people to be led astray in their mind. We thank you today, God, that you have given us the authority and the power to bind the weapons of the mind, the weapons of the enemy that have come against our mind, that will come against our heart, that will come against our soul, that will cause us, oh God, to move off the path of trajectory that you have given us. We bind the spirit of fear. We bind the spirit, oh God, of intimidation today in the mighty name of Jesus. And we uproot its powers, its authority, its works, its symptoms, oh God, against the mind today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we release, oh God, the minds of the people into your hand. And Lord, we ask you to loose, oh God, from heaven, loose clarity, oh God, loose wisdom, loose knowledge, loose instruction, Father, to fill their minds, loose peace today, to fill their minds. Father, we thank you today that you give strength to the mind today. We thank you today that, Father, you're healing the mind today. You're you're healing the heart. You're healing the soul today, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Father, we thank you today that you will help them to guard their heart, that you will help them to guard their mind. We thank you today, God, that you're giving them strength, oh God, in the spirit man, Father, by your Holy Ghost. We thank you, oh God, today that, Father, you're covering them on every side. And in the name of Jesus, their ears be open. Now that they will hear the voice of the Lord, that they will hear you with clarity, O oh God, and no other voice will they follow. We bind the voice of the enemy, the adversary. We command you to cease and desist your activity against the people today. We command you to loose, loose your hold off of their mind, loose your hold off of their body, loose your hold off of their soul in the name of Jesus.
Jesus. And Father, we thank you that the glory fire of your Holy Spirit will burn off the dross today on their mind. Burn off all the impurities of the mind. Burn off all the impurities in their soul. Burn off all the impurities in their heart today, O oh God. For Lord God, we desire, O oh God, to do your perfect will, Father. So clear our minds. Clear our minds. Clear our hearts. Clear our soul. Clean us out, O oh God. Purge us by fire, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, that we be in alignment with you, that your spirit, O oh God, is what will lead and guide us, that your spirit, O oh God, is what will speak to us, that your spirit, O oh God, is what will empower us, O oh God, to do your will, Father and not our own desires, and not the desires of the enemy. Father, we thank you today, Lord God, for giving us sound minds. We thank you today, God, that, Lord God, you have given us power, love, and sound minds. We thank you today that we are renewed in the spirit of our minds today, God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you today that, Father, you're awakening the people, Father, that they will know the truth and the truth will set them free. We thank you today that, Lord God, we are transformed by the renewing of our minds. We thank you today for renewing minds, oh God, in the government. We thank you today for renewing minds, oh God, in the church. We thank you today for renewing minds in the name of Jesus in our community. We thank you today, God, that, Lord God, the mind renewal, Father God, is being released even now, that, Lord God, you're awakening, oh God, the minds today in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise, oh God, in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Amen. If anyone else would like to pray, come on and pray this morning. Amen. Come on, intercessors. Let's intercede in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Robo shiander robo satara rabahaya. Rokoraba mama satayara rabase. Shiander robo sat prophetess Ingram. If you're on the line, come on and intercede this morning, woman of God. Gora mama shia. Roshiander rabase te rabosa. We thank you, Father God. Lord God, we just thank you. We praise you, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, for everything that has went forth, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, for those that are on the line right now, Father God. We thank you for your word, God. We thank you for clarity and understanding, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. We praise you, God. We adore you. We magnify you, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, for being with us and being in our midst, God. We thank you, O oh God, for opening up doors, Father God, and making ways, O oh God for us, God. I thank you, O God, for every intercessor, prayer warrior, Father God, on the line this morning. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I just praise you. I magnify you, O God. I just say thank you. We say how wonderful and marvelous you are, O God. We thank you, Father God, because there is nothing too hard for you, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that your word abides in us, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. We just thank you right now, Father God. We are encouraged, God. We are strengthened, O God. God, by your word. We're strengthened, oh God, by the words, Father God, that has went forth, God. We're strengthened, Father God, by the prayers, Father God, that go up, Father God. We thank you right now, oh God, for strengthening us on every side, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for ordering our steps and directing our path, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, for the leadership, Father God, for the watchmen on the wall, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. We ask, oh God, that you would continue, oh God, to protect God. We ask you that you will continue, Father God, to make ways, oh God. We ask you, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, thank you for the hedge of protection, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for the covering, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for meeting us, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for the things that you've already done, oh God, in our lives, Father God. Thank you for the souls that have already been delivered, Father God. Father God, because of this prayer line, Father God, because of the prayer warriors, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, oh God, for the 
just those that have been loose, Father God. Thank you for those that have been delivered, oh God. Thank you for those that have been set free, oh God. Thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. We know, oh God, that you are Lord of Lord and King of Kings, God. We know, oh God, that there is no one greater than you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And we thank you right now, God, for your word, Father God. We thank you, God, that our labor is not in vain, oh God, in you, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, oh God, that we're going to be steadfast, unmovable, and always abounding, oh God, in your good work, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, oh God, for your word says that when the enemy tries to come in like a flood, oh God, you shall lift up a standard, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. Thank you for your word that says that we should study to show ourselves approved, oh, workmen that need it not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, Father God. And we thank you right now, Father God. We thank you, oh God, for not allowing us to fall into the enemy's trap, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you will continue, oh God, to show us the enemy of far off, oh God, that, Father God, that the enemy has no power, no dominion, no authority, God, over the lives of your people, oh God, in the name of Jesus, and thank you, oh God, that everyone that is connected, oh God, to us has the victory in you, oh God, in the name of Jesus, everyone, oh God, that's connected to us, Father God, if they're lost, God, they shall be saved, God, if they need deliverance, God, you shall deliver, God, if we stand in the gap, Father God, and I just thank you, oh God, for calling us to stand in the gap, oh God, for calling us to warfare on others' behalf, oh God, in the name of Jesus, to call us to warfare, oh God, in the name of Jesus, on, Father God, the state, the national, the government, the local, oh God, in the name of Jesus, thank you, oh God, for calling us to warfare for our children, oh God, for our families, for our friends, oh God, for our neighbors, God, for those, Father God, that don't even know that they're lost, oh God, in the name of Jesus, God, that you, God, will send a word to them, Father God, that they could run in and be safe, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that they could come and be delivered, God, that they could come and say, what must I do to be saved, oh God, in the name of Jesus, thank you, oh God, for your saving grace, thank you, oh God, for your forgiving grace, Father God, thank you, God, you said if we ask, oh God, that you shall forgive and that you would throw our sins into the sea of forgetfulness, God, never to bring them back again, Father God, and we thank you for being a loving God like that in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, for the fruit of the Spirit operating, oh God, in our lives, oh God, in the name of Jesus, thank you, oh God, for giving those on the line joy, peace, love, long-suffering, temperance, oh God, in the name of Jesus, and thank you, oh God, that you have destroyed the works of the flesh, God, anything that is opposite, God, to your word, anything, Father God, that's not like you, oh God, you will remove it, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, we just thank you right now that you're Lord over our lives, oh God, and we just ask you, oh God, to cover us and keep us, oh God, we thank you for this five o'clock prayer, oh God, in the name of Jesus, how it is moved on lives, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, we just praise you, we magnify, we say have your way, oh God, in our lives, we say yes, God, to your way and to your will, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, and I just thank you right now, Father God, for coming us until, oh God, we meet again, oh God, at 6 p.m., oh God, to go before you again with power and authority, oh God, that you have given us, oh God, by the power and the spirit of the Holy Ghost, oh God, that dwells with us in the name of Jesus, Father God, I just praise you and I magnify you and I thank you, oh God, for this opportunity, God, I thank you for waking each one up this morning, God, because you didn't have to do it, but you did, God, because of your love and kindness, because of your tender mercies, oh God, because of the purpose and plan that you have in our life, God, I thank you for this connection, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, and I just praise you and I magnify you for this, God, I pray in your son Jesus' name, amen. Man, anyone else uh, feel willing to pray, led to pray by the Holy Spirit this morning? Come on and pray. Heavenly Father, we just praise you this morning. We thank you, God, that you are still on the throne, that you are still ruling and reigning, Lord, and nothing can stop your purposes and your plans, Lord God. We thank you, Father, that you have called us into this time of working with you in reconciliation, Lord. And we pray right now for the body of Christ to be healed, Father God. We pray for the body of Christ to come into the unity of the faith, O Lord, by the Holy Spirit. Bring down the walls that divide us, O Lord, the walls of denomination, the walls of of racism, Lord God, and bring us together and let us be one as you have prayed, Jesus, that we would be one as you and the Father are one. 
Father, we want to be a part of that great remnant, Lord God, that that remnant that brings in the final harvest, Lord. I pray for my brothers and sisters on this line right now. I ask you to lead and guide and direct them in every affair of their lives, Lord. Have perfect and holy dominion over them and their congregations, Father God. Strengthen them, save and um, fill and sanctify each one of their family members with the Holy Spirit. Use them mightily, Lord, for your glory. I give you praise and thanks for each person on this prayer line. I thank you. I thank you for the connections that I have, Father God, that you have given me. I thank you that you draw us together, Lord God, by cords, with cords that cannot be broken, cords of love, Father, that your love, your love supersedes everything else. Your agape love supersedes everything else, and your love covers a multitude of sins. And, Lord, we stand together to lift up the leaders of our country, Father God. Our country is so divided, Father God. We come against the spirit of hatred, unforgiveness, bitterness, resentment, in the spirit of strife, spirit of division. In the name of Jesus, we bind you up and we rebuke you and we cast you out. And we speak forth the peace and the love of God, the kindness and the meekness and the gentleness towards one another, Lord God. We speak that out into the atmosphere, Lord God, that we will begin to move in this realm, Father God, and that people would see our love for one another and know that you are God, know that we have been with Jesus. And we, and we pray for our neighborhoods, Lord God. We pray for those around us, Father God, that are going through so much in our loss, Lord God. Give us opportunities, Father God, to reach out to them and to share the love of Jesus Christ, the true gospel of the kingdom with those around us, Lord, that they can come out of darkness and be born again and be filled with your Holy Spirit and have their lives changed forever, connected in the family of God. And we just give you all the praise and honor and glory this morning for this opportunity to come together and intercede and pray for one another. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. Apostle John 2 Cooper, can you please close us out this morning, sir? Glory to God. And again, I want to thank Evangelist uh, Sonia Simpson for being with us this morning and for that very powerful word that she taught this morning on the line. Amen. This uh, will be available on Facebook, amen, for other people to get it, but it also will be available on audio as well. And again, thank you, Evangelist, for being with us this morning. I love you and I appreciate the gift of God that you are to the body. Apostle Cooper. I'm here. I'm on the line. Can you hear me? Yes. You know what? Thank you so much for the word of God, for the powerful uh, evangelists that we're just doing. God bless you both. God bless you all that are on this line. Uh, Apostle John T. Cooper in Columbus, Ohio. And uh, I just thank God. Thank God. Lord, we give you praise, Lord, and thank you, Lord. We bless you. We thank you as you send us forth with your your day, uh, and we just declare the increase that you have for us, Lord. We thank you right now as you opened up the portals of heaven. We thank you, Lord, right now as I decree and declare right now that the blessing of the Lord that makes rich and add no sorrow be upon us all. I disperse millions of angels with the agreement power that you've given to us through the uniting of the saints right now. And I call for forth my archangel to go on our behalf and begin to war in the spirit against the, uh, against the prince of darkness that may be trying to hinder anything that is our inheritance. Right now, I loose you right now to go forth and declare right now in the name of Jesus, Millions of warring angels be dispersed around the nation right now, around America right now. I loose you from heaven, from the blocks of heaven right now. I loose you into Kenya. I loose you into Tanzania. I loose you into Nigeria, Uganda, 
in the name of Jesus, Zimbabwe, I lose you right now. And, Lord, I thank you right now and declare right now that financial increase, financial support, the mantle of financial of a financial anointing to fall upon us all. And I thank you as you give us the wisdom. I thank you if you give us the wisdom that the wise has had, that you increase it, that you will make us a thousand times greater, that you have made us a thousand times more, according to Deuteronomy 111. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, and give you praise. And I, I just remind you, Lord, and we require of you. Lord, you say in your word, that to ask you for anything, and it shall be done, as long as it's in your will. So right now, we release increase upon our ministries, increase upon our families. I thank you, Lord, that you said that, you're, that you will make our children's children greater, and you will give us increase and make us more than. So I thank you, Lord, for the blessing of the Lord to be upon us right now. So I just thank you right now, Lord, as I just release increase upon each and every person. And, Lord, let this word be confirmed with signs, wonders, miracles, manifestations of your glory. And I thank you and give you praise that we shall arise and shine for our light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon us. Give us great wisdom and understanding in all the spiritual things that we know the hope of what we've been called and and the hope of Christ and the mysteries of Christ Jesus. Bring us to a deeper level, Lord, a richer level. Flood the eyes of our heart with your light. And we just thank you, Lord, right now that you have protected us, our children, our ministries. I thank you, Lord, as uh, you've protected every Uh, every business venture in us, that you have preserved them, bring them out, and we just lift up the apostle that is over this mighty congregation, Lord, this assembly of this fellowship, Lord. We lift it up upon the bishop, and we lift it up upon the apostle, Michelle, and we just give you praise, Lord, as you surround them with protection, and that you just favor them everywhere they go that the favor of God shall surround them as a shield. So we give you praise. We give you glory. And I release blessing. Now, may the Lord bless you all and keep you. May his face and countenance shine upon you and be gracious to you and he turn his face to you in favor and give you peace. In Jesus' mighty name, and I love you all saints. God bless you. I love you. With the love of Jesus. Amen. 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 God bless you. We love you as well, Apostle. We love each and every one of you that have joined on the live and on the teleconference line this morning. We thank you. We appreciate you for being with us this morning. But before we exit off the line and the live, there is um, someone that is watching or listening today. Um, the Father said that you have um, some pain um and some strain, some stiffness, amen, and, and, and it's in your uh, in your leg area, around your thigh, in your hip area, and God said that he's going to heal that right now. There is a healing, a healing anointing that is being released in the name of Jesus, uh, and God is healing that area right now in Jesus' name. The Father said there's also someone on on that's watching or that is listening that you've been having some joint pain around your, your elbows uh, and your shoulders. And God said that right now in the name of Jesus, we rebuke that pain. He's healing that in the name of Jesus. He's going to heal your joints. And I bind the spirit of arthritis. I bind that uh, that debilitating infirmity in the name of Jesus, and I command it to loose your body and let it go in Jesus' name. I speak to that inflammation. I command the inflammation to go now in the name of Jesus and go to the hell where it belongs, and I lose healing today in your body in the name of Jesus. Peace to your body, wellness, wholeness today in Jesus' name. Peace to God. 
Hallelujah. 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 If you're on the line or if you're on the Facebook Live, just receive uh, your healing today. Amen. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. And there's someone that's on the line and that's watching. You've been having trouble with your lower extremities, with your feet, your ankles, and like around from your knees down. You've been having trouble and you've been having pain and, and swelling and uh, and and uh, redness in your lower extremities. And the Father said that, he said, listen, just anoint, begin to anoint your legs and your feet with oil and pray the prayer of faith over them, the prayer of faith, amen, in the name of Jesus. The Father, I thank you right now for healing their legs. I thank you for healing their lower extremities. I thank you, Father, that we bind and rebuke the swelling. We bind and rebuke any inflammation, any infection. We bind and rebuke, and rebuke any uh, circulatory problems in the name of Jesus. We command every vein, artery, blood vessel to clear now in the name of Jesus. We speak the pinched nerves today in the body in the mighty name of command you to come back in alignment body today in the name of Jesus be healed amen they are already healed by his stripes in Jesus name glory to God hallelujah father we thank you for healing their feet today we thank you God for healing them in Jesus name and we consider that it is so in Jesus name glory to God hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. Praise your name, Jesus. Glory to God. Praise you, Lord. We bless you. We glorify you and we magnify you in the name of Jesus. Glory. Yes, yes, yes. And in the spirit, I see like a bag. It's a big bag. It almost looks like, um, uh, put me in the mindset of, of Santa Claus. Uh, his little, you know, the bag that he carries around full of gifts. But I see money. I see money. I see a bag of money. I see a lot of money that is coming, amen, to someone. God said their money has been held up, amen, but God said he's releasing it in this season. Glory to God, amen. He's releasing it in this season. He said you're going to get a lump sum. That's why I saw the big bag. There's a lump sum that's to you. He said that he's turning everything around in your favor. What's going on in the court system, he's turning it in your favor. Amen. He's turning it in your favor. Glory to God. And he's giving you a yes. He's giving you a yes. And they will pay all the money that they own. Glory to God. I don't know who that's for, but I just saw a big bag, amen, of money. Money, and he said, whatever's going on in court, he's turning it in your favor. It's going to be a yes, and they're going to give you all the money that they owe you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 And I don't know if that's anybody on the live or on the line this morning. Amen. You got something going on in court, or even if there was something going on in your body, amen, which was released today, amen, you can just um, speak it out, amen, just to give confirmation of what was released. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Apostle Cooper. I I just want to give that, the glory to God. Um. I've been dealing with some type of pain in my shoulder that I, I, I believe came from a car accident about a year ago. And I just, uh, at a service, just had uh, a prayer released upon that in, in, in agreement in the healing service in, in that pain and the, the stiffness that was in that, in the shoulder and the joints. And uh, I believe I received that uh, in the name of Jesus. And I believe that was a direct word because I even woke up and said, Lord, what? You know, I'm, I'm feeling the pain again. So I, I just praise God, and I and I thank you for confirmation that the seed has been deposited, and I'm, I'm believing. I believe that I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus. Amen. 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 Can you hear me? This is Pastor Nancy Leitner, and uh, the word about the strange sickness 
uh, the pain in the thigh and the hip and the legs and the feet is me. Um, I've gone to doctors. They don't really can never find what it is. They try to say it's arthritis, but it's not just in the joints, but in the muscles. And um, it has been like horrible Charlie horses in my feet and my legs and my thighs and pain in the middle of the night in my thigh and and in the muscles and the joints. And I received that healing. I, I received that healing in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Well, just um, is there anybody else? Is there anyone else? If there's no one else, just lift your hands, uh, uh, Pastor Leitner and Apostle Cooper, lift your hands now. And the healing uh, fire, the glory of God is getting ready to be released upon you. You'll feel the heat of God's presence coming, amen, upon you in the name of Jesus. He's healing you now, amen. It should be touched yes, to your body. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Receive that healing. Receive that anointing yes, now in Jesus' name. Yes, God is healing you. He's removing the infirmities, the impurities. He's removing. He's breaking the strongholds. He's uprooting the weapons of the enemy. Come now, healing. Come now. Touch every fabric of their being, every molecule, every cell of their being this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. From the crown of their head to the soles of their feet, Father, we thank you for healing now in Jesus' name. Oh, We thank you for your fire of your Holy Ghost, oh God, Jehovah Rapha. Right now, every cell, every blood vessel, vein, circulation mm-hmm. system, every system of the body, come in alignment now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, for healing today. In Jesus' name, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Just receive that, receive that healing, receive that, receive that glory. Yes, yes, yes. Deborah Johnson, come on and get in on it. Receive yours today, right now, for healing over your joints and arthritis. That arthritis and the passes to the pit of hell. Glory to God. We speak healing over your body today in Jesus' name. Yes, yes, Cindy Miranda. Yes, we're praying for you right now. That CT scan is going to come back with clear today in the name of Jesus. Uh, We thank you, God, right now that everything that the doctors thought was there, we thank you, Father, it was only a mirage, that it is gone now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the natural healing in her body, Father, in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father, that you are going to baffle the doctors on Friday, God, that they will see nothing, Father. We thank you, God, for a clean bill of health in the name of Jesus. Do it right now, Father. Father, as only you can, Father, by your power, let your perfect will be done in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you for healing, God. We thank you for healing, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. While it's flowing this morning, you might as well get in. Get in while it's flowing this morning. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just lift your hands up and receive. This morning, receive your healing. Receive it this morning. Receive the power of God that is falling fresh now in the name of Jesus. And walk in your healing today. Proclaim your healing. Decree your healing. Declare your healing. Glory to God today in the name of Jesus. And, Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for healing today, Father, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Another one on the Facebook Live said that my husband said while he was listening, he received his healing for pain in his hips and the pain, amen, in his joints. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. He healed yes. in Jesus' name. Jesus. He healed in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you right now for healing in the liver in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, that it's healed today in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you that every heart tissue, every tissue that was dead and destroyed, that, Father, it is coming back to life now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for healing the liver, Father, in Jesus' name. Glory to God. 
Hallelujah. Another one wants to pray for their daughter for salvation and for healing upon their body. Amen. Yes, glory to God. We stand in agreement with you with your prayer. Hallelujah. We we stand in agreement with your prayer. We praying for peace for your family and their loss that they suffered. Amen. We praying for your daughter's salvation, that she will come to Christ, that she will hear a word, and the word uh, would heal her. In the name of Jesus, and that she will come to salvation in the Lord. And be filled with his Holy Spirit. We speak to your body. We speak to every ailment, every infirmity now in the name of Jesus, every disease. We command you to go in Jesus' name. Glory Glory to God, hallelujah, glory to God in Jesus' mighty name. Another one, pray for that I be delivered from stiffness in my left leg. I decree and declare, amen, that the stiffness in your left leg, that it has to go now in Jesus' name. We bind that infirmity in the mighty name of Jesus, and we cast it to the pit of hell where it belongs in Jesus' name. And, Father, we thank you for supernatural healing. We thank you, O oh God, for the uh, ability to move her limbs, O oh God, with liberty in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, that all inflammation has to go in Jesus' mighty name. And, Lord, we thank Thank you for healing today in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Listen, I love you all with the love of Jesus. I love you all with the love of Jesus, and I'm praying for you all. Listen, come on back tonight at 6 p.m., those of you that are available, 6 p.m. Pacific Time, uh, 8 p.m. Central Time, and 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sharon. Amen. She said, I believe God has healed me from pain in my legs. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And when that pain wants to creep back up, you just lay hands on yourself and you say, I'm healed by the stress of Jesus. You start binding that pain and that symptom of it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. And just continue to speak your healing. Hallelujah. Because every once in a while, the enemy wants to try to cause you to have fear or doubt. Amen. But you got to begin to bind that thing. Amen. And stand in faith in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Listen, I love to have you all back this evening at 6 p.m. tonight. Amen. Glory to God. And uh, and we're going to have an awesome time tonight. Glory to God on the line. Uh, for prayer and intercession, and then I want you to meet us back on Friday, amen, Friday morning, glory to God, Friday evening, I will be in Chino, California, uh, I will be ministering at the Women of uh, Warfare and Worship um, event, amen, on Friday evening in Chino, California, if you are in the Los Angeles area, please come on and meet me there. The post is on my Facebook page. I believe it's 13851 uh, Roswell Avenue. Glory to God. And that's uh, Unit A in Chino, California. Glory to God. The event starts at 7 p.m., 13851 Roswell Avenue, Unit A in Chino, California. Glory to God, and it's the last uh, w- uh, Women of Worship and Warfare Gathering of 2018, glory to God. And the theme is Supernatural Nuclear Blast, amen. Hallelujah, and we're going to have a phenomenal in the Lord, amen, this Friday at 7 p.m. So if you're in the area and you don't have anything else to do, come on by. And support, amen, we're going to have a powerful time in the Lord, amen, and it would be great to see you there, amen. Uh, Also, listen, um, we will be um, meeting again on next Monday, amen, and I'll have some other announcements, but on Monday I want you to tune in to Women of Great Purpose on the Cross TV uh, dot com for our show at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Time. Uh, 8.30 p.m. Central Time, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time at www.thecrosstv.com or right here on Facebook, amen. It also broadcasts on Facebook Live. So you'll be able to check us out there, Women of Great Purpose, 
uh, International Ministry, amen. And I've started a, a series talking about uh, the process, amen. And I was talking about David, so we're going to continue in the series talking about the process. Listen, I love you all in the love of Jesus, and I pray that the Lord and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide with you henceforth and forevermore. In Jesus' name, God bless you. And amen. One more thing, one, one, Apostle Michelle. Apostle Michelle. Yes. Apostle Michelle, uh, just, just one announcement real quick for some of us that haven't turned in our our, our membership paperwork and membership dues. Um, can you expound on that, please? Oh, yes. Uh, one Lord, One Faith, One Accord Christian Alliance and Fellowship of Churches is the organization that God has given me the vision for in 2012 to birth. Those of you that are members of the organization, please go to the website at www.1lsaca-org dot web dot com and fill out the partnership uh the form on the partnership tab click the partnership tab fill out the form and pay your application fee your membership application fee which is fifty dollars we i will send a hard copy of the application and the policy book to you in the mail glory to god so that you will have that information you can fill out the covenant partner agreement and all of that. What One LSA Christian Alliance and Fellowship of Churches is about, I don't really want to talk about that on the line this morning, but if you have any questions, if you want to know any more about it, you can go to our page on Facebook, uh, One LSA Christian Alliance and Fellowship of Churches is our page on Facebook uh, also, and you can get some information, or you can call me at 424 424- Three three one eight zero four zero, and the fellowship is there to help to build, empower, and strengthen uh, the fivefold ministry churches in our local communities to birth businesses in the earth, uh, as well as to build schools uh, in the earth. There's a lot of things that we want to do to build the family in our local community, and so just come and get some information. Get some information about it, and if you would like to be a part of it, amen, it's a real simple step to become a part of it. But contact me again at 424-331-8040, or you can go to our page on Facebook and get a little bit of information. There's also a link there to our website where you can get information off our website. But it's better if you will call me so I could tell you the vision. I could tell you all about uh, the organization, amen. And we're looking for some people that are full uh, of the Holy Ghost and that desire, amen, the advancement of the kingdom, amen, because there's so much work to do. And it's not just uh, pastors and leaders. We come together with other organizations and businesses. That's why it's an alliance. It's an alliance of other organizations, businesses, uh, ministries, churches, and individuals that come together that have the same mindset, the same focus in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, with all that being said, without any further ado, if all hearts and minds are clear, listen, I love you. God bless you. Have a blessed, powerful, and anointed day in the Lord in Jesus' name. God bless you.